collaborators sailed to Antarctica this week to conduct research on phytoplankton key to the marine ecosystem. Departing from Cape Town aboard the Agalus 2, the scientists will for the first time be able to collect and study samples of the Southern Ocean in winter where temperatures drop as low as minus 50 degrees. The Agalas 2 is a hive of activity. Different scientific disciplines are putting the finishing touches to their laboratories. Among them is a team from the University of Stellenbosch that will study phytoplankton. Too small to see with the naked eye, phytoplankton is critical to all oceanic and human life. It serves as food for marine animals but also absorbs carbon dioxide and releases oxygen through photosynthesis. Scientists will test how phytoplankton reacts to trace metal. Just like humans need metals, such as iron for growth, so too does phytoplankton for its development. We do not have data for the winter season and we need to close that gap of knowledge. We need to know what is happening during the melting season Get this data, get these samples, get ice samples, know the concentrations we have on the ice and then go back in the, melt, in the melting season in order to see what is the influence of all this ice that has melted on the biochemistry of the phytoplankton. They will try to understand how nutrients are trapped and released in the ice which in turn impacts on the growth and bloom of phytoplankton. What happens in the Southern Ocean impacts all life on Earth. Majority of the atmospheric carbon dioxide actually sinks in the Southern Ocean. That's where the absorption of uh, carbon dioxide takes place. Uh, and that is being done by these phytoplanktons. And that's why we are interested in that. Human activity has sped up natural processes in nature by thousands of years. And this study will show how occurrences on a microscopic level impacts on a global scale. Impacts that we still do not fully understand yet. Mariska Buerta, SABC News, Cape Town.